you pay my fee. I'll take your case. This is Radio Law Talk with Frederick Penny. I love that that voice. You know, I, I this is right up my wheelhouse. I did not know that Brooke Shields was known for her eyebrows. Well, let me tell you something, Fred. Knowing that this case was coming up, I I took it upon myself yes. to do extensive research into the Brooke Shields uh, filmography catalog going back, and uh, uh-huh. and my research has shown that yes, indeed, Brooke Shields starting with Blue Lagoon, had prominent eyebrows. Well, Tilbury Beauty and a bunch of other retailers that carry this new pencil, the shade is called Brook S. And this is an eyebrow pencil, right? Yes, Yes, it's an eyebrow pencil. So now she is saying, oh, my heavens to Betsy, that is referring to me, and she is suing them, claiming that they, they, that, they violated her rights to pro- to publicity, disgorgement of profits. In other words, they used uh, they took her profits from her and and other damages. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of retailers that are carrying this, but apparently she had in 2014 had a, li- a line of uh, eyebrow related products uh, with Mac Cosmetics, and uh, she thinks that they are referring to her Brooke S. That she has. Uh, is not being compensated for this, and she has brought a lawsuit. So now the question becomes, is the name Brooke S. close enough to her and eyebrows in order for her to win this case to claim they owe us her money for, quote, using her name? Cal? You have to mention that it's the person she's suing is a very f- prominent makeup artist, Charlotte Tilsbury, who has a huge makeup line. That is extremely popular, and Cal knows. Hey, sh- Cal knows because he uses it. Maybe, and <laughs> and had her own line of eyebrow-related makeup starting in 2014, which did not do as well as that of Charlotte Tilbury, and she fears brand dilution. Basically, I think. Does, does Tilbury it. also make biscuits? That'd be awesome. You I think the, the, the Tilbury Doughboy. There's the Tilbury. Uh, there's the t- no, they tried to do that, Pillsbury. but she sued them for taking. Uh, <laughs> That's because we're two and a half hours in. <laughs> two and a half hours in. Tunin's getting punchy. <laughs> okay, so the lawsuit's coming. We're going to follow this great lawsuit, but the, here's the general issue. Yeah. The general issue is going to be is the word Brook S. Okay, I think if there's a Brook S ice cream, she loses. Yes. Okay? If there's a Brook S car, she loses. But okay. but she, knowing she's known for her eyebrows, they're using it for her eyebrows, I'm not saying it's a win. She at least, I think, has an argument here that that's who they're referring to as her. Like, for example, uh, pr- you brought up Sting. Yes. Someone uses yes. the word Sting in uh, in relation to music. Well, in, in that case, there, I mean, you've got you've got a, a name that's pretty unique. Sting has got a pretty unique. Although I will note that um, there was a professional wrestler, Sting, who was very popular with WCW back in the 90s. That was my guilty pleasure in law school. Uh, Use that name. Nobody got sued there. Uh, Prince would be another one that has a very unique name. Fred. Uh, uh, Fred. Fre- yes. Fred. Fred. Yeah. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Fred. Um, <laughs> A bono for you two and the edge, the guitarist. Those are both very slash. Uh, slash. Those are very specific names. Cal. Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan tried this. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan tried this, claiming that Lindsay. Everybody knows it's me. Uh, yes, that is a, a legitimate Lindsay Lohan impression. Thank you. Uh, when uh, let's see, uh, Rockstar Games made Grand Theft Auto has the Grand Theft Auto franchise in GTA 5. There was a character named Lindsay, and look, I'll admit it. The the animated character looks like her. They call Called her Lindsay, and so Lindsay Lohan tried to sue Rockstar Games. Not surprising, man. The game's worth billions um, to get a piece of that pie. I don't, I don't recall. I don't think she was successful in doing that. No, I don't recall. The that. question's going to be whether or not Brooke is successful in doing this. I can say that if I was the cosmetic company, I mean, you, you can't. Look, you got to anticipate this is going to come. I would almost say uh, it would be interesting if they had called a meeting before the release of the product and before the naming of the product and said, all right, what are we going to call it? Brooke S. And let's uh, put in the minutes of our meeting here that S is going to relate to uh, Schwarzkopf, uh, Brooke Schwarzkopf. So then when you get in litigation, (laughs) Your Honor, we'd like to bring forward this document that was done five weeks before the product release, and clearly S has nothing to do with Shields. No, Brooke (laughs) Schwarzkopf is a lady that's down. They paid like 500 bucks 
Fox, can you sign this release? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she, uh, so, so it has resonated to her, but clearly the implication behind the pencil is if you use this, you're going to get eyebrows that look like Brooke Shields. Well, the other, there are other celebrities that have had brow lift named after them. For example, there is the Rita, uh, Re after Rita Ora, uh, Grace K after Grace Kelly, Naomi for Naomi Campbell, and the more generic supermodel. So obviously part of her marketing scene is to give the impression that these things were developed by or with the permission of those artists. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So